Okay. Hello chickies. I just showered and today we're gonna be answering deep questions that you guys tweeted me on Twitter. Hope you guys enjoy and if you do, give it a big thumbs up, stay subscribed to my channel and follow me on all my social media which is Beauty Jiggy on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and Facebook. Let's go. First question, as the internet is evolving, do you see yourself having a better or worse quality of life? I definitely see a worse quality of life with the internet uh, evolving. I mean the internet is out there and it gives us like so much information but with all the things changing in the world and people getting way too attached to their cell phones and like way too reliant on them I can't see that going too well even myself sometimes I just feel like way too reliant on my cell phone and on my social media and stuff and I feel like I gotta like sit back sometimes and take a moment to smell the f***ing roses because I'm way too attached to my phone and yeah. Next question, what has affected you most during your career? I want to say during my whole YouTube career that hmm, what has affected me most? The hate comments don't really affect me. Um, I mean they used to of course but I don't think it's the thing that affected me most. I feel like the thing that was probably affected most by my YouTube career is like my mental health because I mean like I have pretty good mental health at the moment but like sometimes it's just very like I don't know how to describe it I feel very pressured by the internet to do well and produce content and whatever and I just feel like sometimes I don't have enough time to actually do things for me because I'm so focused on making the internet happy. So I feel like my mental health was probably affected a lot by that. Next question kind of relates to that and it says, how do the hate comments actually affect you? Now the hate comments do not really affect me at all anymore. If you would have asked me this back in like 2014, 2015 when I just started to like pop off I guess on YouTube, um, it would have affected me a lot more. I don't know, honestly, like, YouTube hate comments never really got to me. What would get to me was, like, people in school saying things about me. Like, people bullying me because of my YouTube videos or something when I was in high school and middle school. But, like, the YouTube comments, I don't know, they just never really got to me that much. I have pretty thick skin and I know that there's always gonna be people that are going to have some to say about you or people that are gonna try and bring you down and I just try to not let that happen. I just try to ignore it. The one YouTube comment that would get to me back in the day was about how big my nose is and I already addressed that I think in my last video actually but like other than that they don't really affect me. I gotta wipe my hands off now with this towel. By the way, if you guys are interested, this is the Origins Hello Calm Relaxing and Hydrating Face Mask. Next question, do you deal with a lot of catcalling or harassment because you live in New York and is it bad or do you ignore it? Um, I do get catcalled quite a bit. Um, and I mean, obviously I hate it as any woman would say that they hate it. It's just like, I don't understand what goes through people's minds when they decide to cat call a woman like them cat calling me is not gonna make me turn around and be like thanks like it just makes me feel unsafe and super uncomfortable and I just don't understand like the logic that people have behind it I always just ignore it and I keep walking and if I ever feel super unsafe I just take my pepper spray out and I hold it in my hands so people know that I have pepper spray which sounds crazy but that's just how you gotta be sometimes right, I gotta moisturize my body but I want to rinse my hands first next question is really short but really deep and it's are you living a meaningful life I sit down very close to the camera okay you guys can't see my body I'm naked right now so yeah, but I want to be able to moisturize my body completely without clothing because that's how I am. We're using the Sol, uh, the Sol Janeiro, De Janeiro Bum Bum Cream today because ran out of Jurgen's Natural Glow. Anyways, are you living a meaningful life? Um, I don't know. I feel like I am. I feel like right now in this very moment, uh, my content and all that stuff. I mean, from what I think is making people very happy and I feel like 
living a meaningful life is something different to everybody but to me living a meaningful life would mean just making others happy with the things that I could do and if by producing content for you know my audience is what's making them happy and making them you know smile on a daily basis then I feel like that means that for me I am living a meaningful life all right next leg and next question do you believe that there are soulmates and do they exist in friendships dash relationships in general can you have multiple soulmates or are you limited to one romantically? Damn, that was a really loaded question. I'm like running out of breath from talking and moisturizing at the same time. This is like bad. Anyways, uh, I do totally believe in soulmates. I feel like there are multiple soulmates out there for you. I feel like you're not limited to one person. You meet everyone for a reason and they may be a soulmate, but some soulmates last longer than others. Some work out, some don't. But I do feel like there's definitely multiple soulmates and each of them are supposed to teach you like a different lesson. And then there is, of course, your one soulmate, you know, your one person that is there to be with you long time and everything. And yeah, I also do think soulmates exist in friendships, of course. I feel like when you meet the right friend who like has the same quirks as you that makes you a better person, that is a soulmate that is a friend. Next question is, do you ever worry that you're gonna be turned into someone you don't want to be? And the answer to this is no, not really, because I don't know, I'm very conscious about myself and what I do and what I want out of life. And I don't know. I feel like everyone's always evolving. People learn over time from mistakes and people learn from, uh, you know, experiences and, I feel like personally, I wouldn't turn into a person that I didn't want to. Like for me, I have morals for myself in life and I like to stick by my morals and I don't know. This is a very like odd question because you really can't predict the future, but I don't really worry about turning into someone that I don't want to be because I know who I am and I know my morals and I just feel like as long as I stick by that, I'll be the person that I always want to be in life. All right, I moisturized my legs. I got to do like my butt now. I don't know how I'm going to do this on camera. Okay, next question. What is something you're sure you will never experience? This is like a really deep one. Oh, what if I just go like this and I talk to you guys? Oh, I'm not focused. Oh, never mind. Now I am. Okay, what is something you're sure you'll never experience? This is like a really crazy question. Um, cause I don't know if there's something that I am sure I will never experience in my life. What is something you're sure you'll never experience? Oh my God, that's such a deep question. Guys, comment below, cause I literally cannot answer that question. What is something you are sure you will never experience in life? And you are like 100% positive about that. Comment below. I'm curious what you guys say because I literally don't know. How do you get out of your comfort zone? Okay, I gotta moisturize like my stomach now. Oh my god, I just... I scratched the mask off of my nose by accident. Perfect. All right, now I can moisturize my stomach. All right, so like I said, the question is how do you get out of your comfort zone? I mean, personally for me, I am an extroverted person, so me stepping out of my comfort zone is something that I do on a daily basis. I feel like just stepping out of your comfort zone is gonna help you make a lot more experiences and I feel like a lot of people overthink stepping out of their comfort zone. They think something bad's gonna happen, but like for some people that literally just starts with being at a party and you know, there's a group of people they wanna talk to, there's you know, someone they wanna make friends with and they're afraid to step out of their comfort zone and go say hi, but it's like, what is the harm in going to say hi or going and trying to experience something? What is the harm in traveling and getting more experience with that? What is the harm in telling your crush that you like them? Like the worst thing that could really happen with telling your crush that you like them is them not liking you back and even after that you move on and you find someone better because they weren't for you anyways. I mean, if they say they don't like you then they weren't for you anyways and you deserve someone better. So how do you step out of your comfort zone honestly starts with you. It starts with you stepping out of your comfort zone and trying to make a difference and 
you know, talking to people that you normally wouldn't talk to. And it just starts by doing little things. You know, start little and build your way up. And it's a great way to make life experience. Like, I've realized that, like, over the course of time, like, I've always been an extrovert. But recently, in like the past two years, um, has been like a time for me where I've really just said, like, f it. And stepped out of my comfort zone, like, completely. Cause, like, in the end, there's really, I just scraped my mask again. In the end, there's really no harm in it. Okay, I'm done moisturizing. I am going to go rinse my mask off uh, and then answer the very last question. Oh, never mind. I'm supposed to leave this on for 10 minutes. Never mind. We're going to answer the last question. You know, people always suck up to others with bigger advantages. Society is so unfair. To be honest, we're all human and being rich or poor shouldn't determine your personality and your worth in life. God, speak it into existence, sister. Like, the reason for people sticking up to other people, not sticking up, sucking up to other people, I feel like is a like social status sort of thing. People think that by sucking up to other people, sorry, I'm putting my pants on. People really think by like sucking up to other people, like people with like a bigger following or a bigger social status or something will make them bigger in life. And I feel like it's all like some sort of weird competitions of who's the best, who could have the most people like them, follow them and stuff. Like a lot of things now are regulated by social media, which sucks. It's like social media is like defining our worth nowadays, which is terrible and it should absolutely not. And I feel like I see that at a lot of like YouTube conventions. Like I go to a lot of YouTube conventions, there are like smaller like YouTubers and stuff trying to suck up to these bigger YouTubers. That way they could like become bigger and you know maybe people will see them hanging out with the bigger youtubers so it makes them bigger when in reality it really should not matter at all i absolutely hate that shit. like you like your worth should literally not be defined by your status whether you're rich poor famous not like yeah. Long story short, you gotta create your own, you know, your own path. Like she said, why do people always suck up to others with bigger advantages? People that are trying to suck up to other people that have bigger advantages is them literally trying to mooch off of people that have created their own success and they're trying to get success off of other people's success when in reality, you should be defining your own success and making your own success. And that is the last question in this video of deep questions. I'm gonna go rinse my face off and I'll be right back. All right guys, so that was the last question in my deep questions video. I decided to do like for this video, I wanted to be a little different and I was originally gonna do my makeup for this video, like answer deep questions while doing my makeup, but like, I was just not in the mood to do my makeup today, like under any circumstance. So I was like, you know what, what can I do? And I was like, I kind of need a shower, I feel gross. So I'm literally gonna do a face mask and answer deep questions. And that's exactly what I did. And by the way, if you guys are wondering what moisturizer I'm using right now, I'm using the Jergens Natural Glow, the face moisturizer. This is like my favorite moisturizer for during the day because it just gives you a nice, a nice glow in the day. And my face is always a lot paler than the rest of my body is kind of sucks but whatever and right now i'm using the grace and tonic this is their eye serum their roller bar eye serum this is my favorite like eye serum for during the day also because it absorbs really quickly and also i like to keep it in the fridge it makes it nice and cooling and yeah. anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did uh, well, if you did, then we will move on to end card and I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, stay subscribed to my channel, and follow me on all my social media, which is Beauty Tricky on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Go follow me. You guys could check out my latest videos below, and, uh, that is literally it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to go, and yeah. So with all that being said, ciao, ciao, chickies.